Judaism places an enormous amount of importance on repenting, on changing our actions. It, in the Talmud, the central body of Jewish law and thought, it teaches that God created repentance, tshuva, even before the physical world. So before there was a universe, before there was a world, God created this ability and this importance of looking in on ourselves and saying, what have we done wrong? And as humans were created, and at one point we had a temple in Jerusalem, the idea is that we would bring physical things, sacrifices, to make atonement, conciliation for things we've done wrong. And now we don't have that temple. The act of admitting, considering what we do, um, asking for forgiveness if it's to do with another person, praying for forgiveness, those acts take the place of sacrifices. And it means that when I turn to another person before Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, and say, I made a mistake, I hurt you, I am sorry. By doing that, or by turning in on myself and saying, when I do that, or say that, or act like that, I've been wrong, that is the beginning of the atoning process. We're coming up now to the period of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, but it's not just about Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We are meant to think of our lives as though this is our very last day. And therefore, every day, we pray for forgiveness and repentance. Every day, we need to be looking in on ourselves and seeing, how have I done? How did I mess up? How am I going to ask for forgiveness from myself sometimes, or from other people, or from God? Some of the wrongdoings that we've done are between us and another, and other people, and some are between us and what we call the makom, the ever-present God. So we are meant to be every single day doing this. Now, it's very hard for people to do something when it's so routine. So in fact, it's a gift to have a period of time of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and the month beforehand of Elul to take time out and really put a sort of searchlight, a flashlight on what we're doing and saying, now's the time. You're meant to think about this every day, but we're stepping it up because we're coming towards Yom Kippur when the idea is that how the next year will be is considered. This idea of repenting, or not even an idea, this practice of us considering our actions and repenting isn't just for Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. We are meant to think about every single day as though it might be our last. And every single day we pray for repentance and ask ourselves or others for forgiveness. We know human behaviour, and it's impossible to do something every day and consider and contemplate every day because you also wouldn't get anything else done. So as Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur come, it points a torch, a strong focus on our behaviour and says, every day you're meant to do this, but we're going to ratchet it up towards this period of repentance and our days of reflection as we come towards Yom Kippur, which is the ultimate day of uh, thought and reflection and hopefully atonement. So how do we do this? If the things that we've done wrong are between us and another person, we need to go to that other person and say, I'm messed up, I was wrong. So there is pain in it and embarrassment in many ways. Please forgive me. The idea is that I come to this person three times, up to three times and say, you know, I messed up, I was wrong. And if they don't forgive you, then the idea is that you've asked enough and that you can get forgiveness anyway. It's about confessing. So in Judaism, what's important to us is the practice and the action. So it doesn't happen in my head. I don't think, gosh, I really hurt this person. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to actually go to the person, do an action, say I was wrong. I will not do this again. And I have to intend that to change my behavior. So for us, tshuva is both uh, an intellectual prayer exercise, but also a very practical exercise.